everyone. Welcome to Connection Yoga. I just want to say real quick, yoga is for everyone. However, when online, it is up to the individual to assess whether they are ready or not to participate in the class that they have chosen. If you suffer from specific disease, illness, or injury, or are pregnant, it is important for you to consult with your physician before beginning. The practice of yoga requires that you, the practitioner, need to gauge the safety of your practice within your own personal and physical limitations. I'm not there, I'm not in your body, so I can't. You need to pay attention and act accordingly. It is always better for you to build up slowly rather than force or strain. While you might feel exertion throughout the practice, you should also feel relaxed. While you might feel some discomfort, you should never feel pain. The techniques and suggestions presented in the following content are not intended to substitute for proper medical care. Consult your physician before beginning any new exercise program. Connection Yoga assumes no responsibility for injuries suffered while participating in the yoga content. The user assumes all risks. With that, I can't wait to see you on the mat, and I'll see you there. Hi everyone, and welcome back to Connection Yoga. My name is Kat, and this is Ross for with us today for our 45 minute slow flow and restorative practice. We are practicing again outside today. I'm super excited. We've got a little bit of shade today. We're gonna be moving slow, holding poses for longer, and focusing on the connections that are crucial in yoga. This is the breath to the body, the body to the earth, and the body to the body. So, I'll be talking that, about that as we move along, listening to nature and the sound of our breath today. So, without further ado, make your way to child's pose on your back. Mm -hmm. Gotta share the mat, Roscoe. Close your eyes here or soften your gaze without putting any effort onto your knees. Start to breathe, breath filling the lungs, lowering us deeper into the mat. Start to lengthen your inhales and exhales. Two more cycles of breath. Inhale, fill the body. Exhale, squeeze the knees in. Inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze it in. Keep following the rhythm of your breath. Inhale and exhale. Two more cycles, squeeze it all the way to the edge, then release, last time. Release legs up the wall, arms to a T. Let your low back press down as you 
flex your feet on the ceiling. Keep breathing, filling the ribs, expanding the muscles. Breathe in, exhale it out. Now with that in and out motion again, breathe in, exhale, squeeze the knees to the chest. Inhale, legs up the wall. Four count your breath and exhale, back, squeeze the knees to the chest. Three more times, follow the rhythm of your breath. Last time, open the ribs, open the body, exhale, squeeze it all in. Tabletop on the back, arms back to the T, supine twist to the left. Hips stack here, maybe put a block in between your knees if you're feeling pretty tight, if you're not able to breathe. Breath to body, breathe into the back of the lungs, expand the muscles, warm them with the breath. Two more cycles of breath. How full can you get here? Legs back to center, supine twist to the right. Again, breathe into the left backside body. Two more cycles of breath. How full can you get? Pause at the top, exhale it all out. One more time. Back to center. Inhale, squeeze the knees to the chest one more time. Rock side to side. Massage the spine. Come back to center. Rock yourself up to a seat. Forward fold. Legs out in front, sit tall, filling the four corners of the body. Keep that length as you forward fold. With each breath, evolve deeper. Two more cycles of breath at your edge. The 
gently sit back up, cross your ankles in, and make your way to tabletop. Shoulders over wrists, knees under hips. Draw the belly in. Take a breath in. Let it go, keeping the belly in. Move through cat cows with your breath. Drop the belly, open the heart. Press the palms round the back. Keep breathing and moving, breath to body, body to earth. Two more cycles. Drink it in. Neutral spine, down dog. Walk your hands to your feet, ragdoll pose. Opposite hand, opposite elbow. Lengthen the spine, fall forward. Two more cycles of breath. Press your feet down. Release the bind, halfway lift. Forward fold, high mount. Hands to temple. Reach side, stretch to the left. Press the feet down. Come back to center, side stretch to the right, reach, breathe. Back to center, forward fold, halfway lift, down dog. High push-up. Lower flat to the mat. Left arm to a T. Scorpion over the left arm. Right foot goes in the earth behind the left knee. Start here. Or maybe your hand comes in closer to the body. Or half binds at the low back. One more cycle of breath. Release back to center. Right arm to a T, scorpion over the right side body. One more cycle of breath. Release back to center to Cobra. Use the back body, lift and open the heart. Child's pose.
down dog. Feet together, right leg up, bend and open the hip, knee points to the sky. Straighten the leg, release the foot back down, left leg goes up, open the hip. Release the foot down, high push up, chaturanga lower. Up dog, down dog. Right leg up, step between the hands, low lunge. Left knee goes down, uncurl the toes, press the top of the foot down, body to earth. Keep your hands grounded or bring them to your hips for prayer. If your hands aren't at prayer, bring them there and then twist elbow hook to the right. Body to body, press the elbow into the knee to deepen the twist. Release the hands down, hamstring stretch, hips back, flex the foot. Foot goes down, curl the toes, lift the knee, runners twist here, right hand up, reach, hand back down, step back, down dog. High push up, lower chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Left leg up, step between the hands, low lunge. Keep the knee over the ankle here. If you need to squeeze it forward, do it. And then come to where your hands want to be. Lift out of the hips as you press down. Hands to prayer if they're not there already. Twist to the left. Release back center, hands on the earth, hamstring stretch. Hips over the knee, flex the foot. Left foot goes down, runners twist, lift the knee, left hand to the sky. Left hand down, step back, down dog. High push up, lower flat to the mat. Up dog, down dog. Feet top of the mat. Halfway lift, forward fold, chair pose.
breathe in, let it go, forward fold, halfway lift, down dog, vinyasa. Right leg up, bend and open the hip. Straighten the leg, step crescent lunge. Hands to prayer, twist to the right. This time, open the arms to expand the stretch. Crescent lunge. Warrior two, back heel goes down, foot parallel to the back of the mat. Inhale, straighten the legs, arms up. Exhale, press down. Do that again. Inhale, up. Exhale, press down. Inhale, up one more time. Exhale, triangle. Reach the hand overhead. Bicep by the ear. Come over the right leg for pyramid. Left foot comes in. Stay here or pyramid twist, keeping your hips even. Come back to center, step the left foot up, halfway lift, draw the belly in, forward fold, chair pose. Hands to prayer, twist to the right. Hook the elbow or hands open. Skiers pose, stay low, hands reach forward. Release forward fold. Widen your feet hip width apart, peace fingers, big toes, body to body, pull yourself forward, fold down. Release your bind. Halfway lift, forward fold, vinyasa. Left leg up, bend and open the hip. Straighten the leg, step crescent lunge. Hands to prayer, twist to the left. Press your feet into the earth. The foundation is everything here. And then open your arms, expand your space. Crescent lunge. Warrior two.
Breathe in, straighten the leg, lift the arms. Exhale back, warrior two. Up again. Exhale, lower, press. Arms lift, exhale, triangle. Press your feet down, lengthen the side bodies. Reach the hand overhead. Come over the left leg, pyramid, right foot comes in. Forward fold, keep breathing. Stay here or pyramid twist. Come back to pyramid. Right foot steps up, halfway lift, forward fold, chair pose. Hands to prayer, twist to the left. Open the arms. Skiers, stay low, reach the fingers. Forward fold, release, feet hip width apart, gorilla, palms under the feet. Body to body, press the feet to the earth through the hands. Softer big bend in the knee. Make sure you're pressing all four corners of the feet down for two more breaths. Release your bind. Halfway lift, forward fold, high mountain, low mountain. Take a breath in, let it go. Toe bind. We're going to do a twisting one. So bring your left piece fingers to your right big toe, bind them around, press the foot forward. You can start with your right hand at your low back and then twist open to the side. Reach the hand once you're there. Spread the fingers as you press the foot. And release, back to center. Other side, peace fingers right hand, big toes left foot, press it forward standing on a wall in front of you and then twist opening the ribs keeping the hips forward release the bind come back center turn wide ways on your mat Feet at hip with the ground. Ground the left foot down. Right piece fingers, right big toes this time. Press the foot forward. Stay here or open the foot to the right side. Release the bind. Other side, left hand, left toes. Bind, press, draw the core in, and then open.
release the bind. Tree. Right leg up. Opening that hip. Lace the fingers behind the back. Lift the heart. And release. Other side. Left leg up. Once your legs are stable, you do whatever with you, whatever you like with your arms. If you want to lace them again, that's okay. Reverse namaste. Temple arms, your choice. And release. Widen your legs on your mat. Wide leg forward fold. Keep length in the spine, belly in. Walk yourself under. Halfway lift, hands into the face. Walk the feet in a little bit for Malasana. Drop your sit bones, elbows to body, elbow to inner thigh, pressing open, opening your heart and your collarbones. Hands down, butt up, stand tall, come back top of your mat, inhale, arms up, forward fold, halfway lift, vinyasa. Right leg pigeon. Right knee behind the right wrist, left behind the left wrist. Two more cycles of breath at your edge. Gently press up, press back down dog, switch sides. Two more cycles of breath at your edge. Breathe into the body. Let it go one more time. Press back down dog. High push up. Lower flat to the mat. Scorpion left side again. 
Notice how it feels different now, if it does. Maybe try a half bind here. To really open, lace the fingers behind the back here. One more cycle of breath. Release back to center. Other side. Release back to center, half frog. Bring your right leg up with your knee on the outs, like in line with your hip, leg at a 90 degree angle, arms at a T. Allow your right cheek to lay down. Our front body's taken so much information for us, take on so much each day. Allow it to just rest down here. Let your belly let go and everything be supported. Bring the leg back in, switch sides. Half frog, left leg up. Inside of the foot should be down, left cheek on the earth. Release the leg back in and roll over onto your back. Grab your block for legs up the wall supported. So put it flat side under your lumbar. If you don't have one, that's okay. This still works with them on the ground. Legs up the wall. Arms to a T. Keep breathing. Maybe close your eyes, soften your gaze, and turn your view inward. Release your feet down to the earth. Lift for bridge, turning the block to where it's medium height, long ways along your tailbone lumbar area. Supported bridge here. Come back to the breath.
release the block out of the way. Bring the knees to the chest. Breathe in. Exhale, squeeze the knees in. Tabletop on your back. Cross your right knee over your left knee. Cow face on your back. Grab the outsides of your feet and pull them to your face. Using a little bicep strength here. Release the feet, cross the legs again. Supine twist to the left. Back to center, unwind the legs, cross the left knee over, cow face on your back. Release, supine twist to the right with cross legs. Maybe put a block under your top knee and support it so you can just let go without effort here. Back to the center, unwind the legs, take a breath in. Exhale, squeeze the knees to the chest. Release the heels to the earth, full body stretch. And come in for supported fish, putting the block in between the shoulder blades along the back of the body. Okay, take some finagling to get in. The back of the crown of the head should be resting down, arms on the sides, point the toes. baby. Stay in stillness or maybe gently rock side to side. Come back to center for two cycles of breath. Release for Shavasana. Keep your attention focused on your breath moving in and out. The sounds of the trickling water. Acknowledge it and then let it go. Moving on to the next sensation that arises. And then again, use your breath, breathe it in, and without judgment, let it go, breathe it out. 
keep doing that. Start to bring your awareness back out from the core of your being, out your bones, your muscles, your skin. Feel the air around you as you wiggle your fingers through it. Wiggle your toes, bringing your knees to your chest with as little effort as possible. Roll to one side using your arm as a pillow. Push yourself up to an easy seat. Inhale, arms up, palms meet overhead, palms to the heart. One last breath. Feel the body. Let it all go. Slide out. Thumbs to third eye center. Body to body. Heart to heart. With grace and gratitude. Namaste. Thank you for being out here with me today. I hope you enjoyed this practice and felt all kinds of ways. Let me know what you felt. Give me a reaction. If you liked it, let me know. If you didn't like it, let me know. Any comments, questions, I would love to hear more. Otherwise, find a bit of sunshine today. Go out there and don't forget to smile. All right? I love you all. Namaste.